everybody here probably knows that Senator Mike Gabbard is a unfailing advocate uh, for hemp. The le in Hawaii, we'll be talking about this today, the legislature has done its job. The legislature has done its job and then some. Uh, and Senator Gabbard can talk about the, I can't remember if it's dozens or scores of bills that he has been part of now for uh, years in Hawaii and we're getting there, we're getting there. And uh, there's nothing that's gonna stop folks in Hawaii from, from planting hemp. And we wouldn't be this far without him. Please welcome a great friend of Hawaii, Senator Mike Evans. Hello, my Kako. So I was on a plane coming back from, can you hear me okay? Coming back from the mainland, Carol and I will celebrate our 49th wedding anniversary this coming December. Wow. And this song just popped into my head, so I thought I'd want to share it with you. Celebrating uh, Hemp History Week over there, <laughs> hanging with hempsters uh, the last couple of days as, and uh, as the chair of the Agriculture Environment Committee, I've been also visiting farms on Maui. And, and uh, all day yesterday, I was on the mountain. So, which one is it? Is the Ford or? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So I was on Maui, I was with the folks from the Maui Hemp Institute for Research and Innovation who last year awarded me with the prestigious and highly coveted 2016 Honorary Hempster of the Year Award, which is now prominently displayed in my office at the state capitol. And of course it's an honor today to stage, uh, to share this uh, virtual stage with my daughter, Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, who is a 
a very uh, a big hemp enthusiast, and she'll be joining us later on the uh, virtual screen. And she's doing, as you know, all she can at the federal level to move this incredible crop forward. Also, uh, nice to have the participation of Representative Cynthia Thielen, who many of you know has been the, has been preaching the gospel of hemp for decades here in Hawaii. And a shout out to, and mahalo to the conference organizers, to Morris, uh, Doug, everyone involved. Uh, my colleagues, I know that Senator Rudin is going to be on a panel later on today. So my short talk today is going to focus on the history of hemp in Hawaii and the U.S. and my legislative efforts to move us forward on hemp and the status of the Hawaii Department of Ag's hemp program. As most of you know, hemp is a miracle crop used for over 25,000 products, food, clothing, medicine, cosmetics, biofuel, animal feed, and an eco-friendly building material called hempcrete, and it's even uh, clean, cleaning the soil through phytoremediation. And on the picture, that that's actually the governor's desk on the signing of one of the bills, and I was talking to Morris about his uh, hemp ukulele out there, and I was very envious. Of it. But that's my hemp briefcase that my staffer gave to me, so when, we, when the governor signed one of our hemp bills, we took all that stuff and spread it out on his desk. So, um, There's Ziggy Marley, son of world famous reggae legend Bob Marley, and with a quote from Ziggy. And I say amen to that, uh, Brother Zig. So, as many of you know, there's been a rocky, borderline insane history with this wonderful plant. In 1776, the Declaration of Independence was drafted on hemp paper. Both George Washington and Thomas Jefferson uh, grew hemp. And then in 1936, you had the slick, schlockumentary film, Reefer Madness, which tells the story of hallucination, rape, and murder 